Hello guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for choosing to watch one of my videos. This is the rest of the video about the worst and best purchases I made in 2022. So let's go for shoes at this uh, video. Uh, these are the Paris loafer from Hermes. They are super comfortable and uh, I think like I would say I have normal feet so this was amazingly comfortable i do wear it often and uh it does have kind of a hairy thing it was like limited edition i got it last year in summer and i love it and as you guys all know uh the sole for mainly of these uh high-end brands it's so slippery so i put uh two things this is a 3m you can get it on amazon and i'll show you in another video how i do this it's literally tape which it does have some roughness it does give you some grip but not perfect so i added another one from amazon that is a bit more grippy and i do like it now and i do walk with it i don't i haven't so far felt down or something the only complaint I have about this one, though, is scratches on this hardware. I don't know how, but it has happened. And this one and the other pair, they have got the scratches. And they, they got it from, like, after the first time I was wearing them. Um, so... Yeah, but I kind of got used to it. I said, you know what, if you want to wear them, uh, you're going to accept this, that apparently the hardware with these ones are going to get scratches fast. You pay lots of money, you don't want it to happen, but it, it does happen. I should mention, I also purchased a pair of the Colite ones that, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not, but they were so narrow that hurting my feet I couldn't return them because I wore them once, so I gave those to my sister. So I don't have them here, but if I want to recommend someone with normal feet to purchase from uh, Hermes for their loafers, I would say the Paris loafers are the best. So the other reason that I chose this one uh, compared to the letter one is because it's so soft, comfortable, you do see kind of lines around here, if it makes sense, after you wear them for a while. And that just means because the leather is so in high quality, it's so soft and amazing. But again, you don't want to see those lines. It does bother me, so I chose to go. You can kind of see, but it's not like terrible. So that's why I purchased it in not pure leather, and I'm happy with it. The other one, which they don't seem to be standing here, is these uh, boots from Chanel. Uh, they're comfortable, but 90 millimeter of heel. Uh, they are as comfortable as they could be, but I wouldn't go to the mall and do shopping for four hours wearing these. They're a classic Chanel, like you can see these two parts. It does have a nice logo at the back and uh i did the same thing for the sole i have worn them maybe 10 times but uh it was not long walks so i wouldn't recommend to wear those for long walks and i'll show you what i do got from chanel that it is good for long walks the other thing i wanted to say was with sizing so i'm six uh in like all brands six here they're all 36 kind of being European, but in these ones, or apparently in Chanel, I don't know why, I'm 36 and a half or six and a half. I don't know why, but apparently it's just the way it is. And I have heard from other people that in Chanel, they have to go half a size higher. These are, I guess everyone knows, these are the from Sex and City. I got them because I was doing my collection. I wanted to get the best of each brands and being like iconic of all the brands i got these i didn't get the exact ones i'm from memory uh carrie uh bachel that was wearing these in sex and city she was wearing the 105 millimeter 
that's too high for me. I can't handle that. So this is 75. I can't tell you how comfortable they are. The only problem, these are like gorgeous crystals and amazing. The only problem is they don't go with everything. And I'm not a black person. Like I don't wear that many black clothes. Uh, like I did buy... I know it's going to sound hilarious. At first I purchased a pair of shoes. Then I went and purchased a black dress. So I got this nice, gorgeous, fancy dress from Self Port. And uh, this Self Porter, by the way, has nice dresses. Check it out. And they are for nice prices. Like you pay a fraction of price that you would pay for Chanel or Dior. And Self Porter is... Uh, I would say one of the best but sizing is a bit different so if you want to buy from that brand it would be nice if you go in person and I will show you these shoes and the matching uh, clutch with that dress uh, this goes amazing with a nice black dress but I do not wear black dresses often I'm just more of a co colorful person Anyways, to move on, these are from Jimmy Cho. Um, these are the 75, uh, no, 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 sorry. This is 85 mil, uh, millimeter. Uh, Kate Middleton, Prince William's uh, wife, wears mostly Jimmy Cho with the same or even higher heel. And she obviously is a lot on her feet and they claim that these are super comfortable. I have worn them a couple of times. I'm not good with wearing heels. Like these are so high for me. I wore them once and I ended up taking them off after half an hour. These ones, I was able to wear them and tolerate them for half of the day. Maybe I should just wear them more often and then get used to them. But for what I paid, I'm happy. This is Dior Boots that it was kind of a limited edition um, back in May. And then I never could find it again. These are the best. Look at the heel. It's gorgeous. I have worn this more than 20 times. It's Canada. There's like salt and stuff everywhere. Uh, again, I did the same thing to protect their soul. Uh, my size is 36 in Dior 2. Like I said, my size is 36 or 6 in everything except for Chanel. And it does have a zipper over here. I don't know if they would bring it back or not. But this is the most comfortable boots. You can easily walk in these 6-7 hours and not complain. And maybe another reason is because they're not pointy like how Chanel is. I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm happier with these but again it's just cause kind of like personal opinion i'm sure there are people who can pull off these easy walking them 10 hours same as these ones that people wear like those 105 millimeter heels and they can walk with them forever so it's just i think it depends on our feet uh by the way these are activated charcoal uh bags that i got from amazon and i talked about them in my first video about how to store and take care of a uh, double flap classic chanel bag uh they're good for absorbing odor and moisture even though i do have a dehumidizer dehumidifier in this room too uh these are jimmy show joe uh these are the worst pair of shoes that i got i do regret buying them uh expensive very very uncomfortable i can't tell you how much i thought because these are comfortable then you know i just thought well this is a brand with comfortable shoes these are awful and i tried to uh keep wearing them maybe they would get better they hurt as hell and they are so uncomfortable because see how the bottom is so the sole is so flat that when you walk, it just wants to, I don't know, destroy your foot. And I didn't put protectors on the first time I used it. And I think it was, I don't know, like it picked a big chunk. Like it, this is like wood and a big chunk from one of them 
uh, kind of fell off, which was so heartbroken, heartbreaking, but uh, yeah, these are awful. And I did uh, pass them to friends with the same shoe size and they said they're awful too. So I think, I don't know, I wouldn't ever, ever buy these again for the money I gave. These were not worth it. They're not even that look good looking, but it is what it is. Uh, I bought these this year, so it's not fair to talk about them in this video, but comfortable, good, and the brand is like Naturalizer. Um, it's a very, very low profile brand, but for something I wanted to be low profile and just nude and comfortable, these are amazing. Let's move to Christian Louboutin. So everyone knows the story behind these ones. They are gorgeous. They're famous for their red sole, but um, they are not the most comfortable shoes. And everyone I think knows that and agrees on that. So this is the Pigal one that you have to go half a size upper. I don't know why you have to go high uh, with the sizing, but apparently it's because the toe box is kind of so pointy to make it apparently sexy so you have to go half a size higher uh i've learned that there are some of these sole protectors on amazon that they are strictly for christian louboutin i know i was amazed too and they are red still you can tell but then i have worn this a lot I should be honest, uh, I can't feel my toes after like half an hour, even though they're not the high, I think they're like 85 millimeter. They're not the highest heels they have. Again, I'm not good with heels, but my toes go numb. And then when I called my essay and I said, okay, do you have any recommendations? And he said, well, use some numbing sprays on your toes. And I'm like, oh gosh, then just it is what it is i will wear them if i have to but there have been several occasions i ended up walking with bare feet in the parking with a gorgeous outfit but at least when i was holding them people would see the red sole so i wasn't that embarrassed but i don't know kind of a love-hate relationship but let's just leave it at that uh i guess every girl would love to have a pair of these in hair collection but I wouldn't go crazy about this brand having said this the color is gorgeous and adds a lot to your outfit and it kind of looks like a statement when you're wearing them I'll show you when I'm wearing them so you can see them better uh, so it's worth buying them but don't plan to walk in them forever so this is another one that uh, I think calls Isaiah or something. I don't know. It's the same heel height, but it, this side, it's not totally close. So they have told me that because of this, uh, they're a bit more comfortable. Obviously, I haven't worn them yet. And I didn't use those sole protectors. I just thought, you know what? They make it look a bit, I don't know, like when you walk people would see them and I don't know I didn't like it so for these ones I just used the normal um, sole protectors from Amazon as you can see I didn't go half a size higher they fit well but I haven't worn them outside houses like this has been always on carpet and very comfortable but I don't know for sure if you're gonna kind of walk in these for hours what's gonna happen Something I ha I regret buying are these boots from Ferragamo. They are so comfortable and lovely and just, you can't complain. They have a nice hardware here. It's like seven centimeters for the heel. It's chunky. It's good for Canadian weather. Uh, you don't slide with these, but the problem is, again, I'm 5'2", and this hits the car seat when I'm driving so I don't feel very very safe when I'm wearing this and driving uh, I know I can wear something comfortable and then switch but 
I just, I think I'm just lazy. So I don't wear these as much as I should because of that problem. So maybe if I would take a cab or uh, someone is going to pick me up, I would wear these, but um, not if I'm going to drive. That's the downside with these ones. Other side, otherwise, they're great. So this is the last and my favorite pair of shoes that I purchased in 2022. So something about these that uh, it hasn't been talked about that much on YouTube is, so yes, they're famous, they're quilted. Uh, one thing you want to know is it's a bit, looks like it's been worn when you buy them. Obviously I worn these so you can see them more often, but it's just how it is. Um, it does have the logo here. Uh, you can walk with these for hours, not bothering you. You don't need any sole protection because it's just not leather. Um, if, and this is a flap. I don't know what's the purpose of having this. And I'm just going to say something that is related to this shouldn't be there. I know it makes it look gorgeous. Such a statement, a big CC logo here, which is like they're uh, they have a nice brooch and I have that, which I added it to my very simple gray uh, jacket that I think I posted a video of that too. It kind of gave it much more elegancy, I, I would say. Uh, but the problem is uh, you wear these with a bit of thicker size uh, socks unfortunately because these don't come all the way up to here this is how high your foot is being protected so in this area your ankle is kind of flopping in and out back and forth it doesn't kind of grab onto your ankle to make it the most comfortable pair of boots I what I did is and they're not like big for me like maybe you would say well go half a size lower no they were so super awfully tight it's 36 and a half that's what I am in Chanel so that's my size but when I asked people then they said yeah they are not very comfortable it's because instead of this flap they should have come with the laces all the way up here to hold your ankle and kind of support it and the new pair of shoes that they now have for boots, they do come all the way up to here. What I did, my solution was, I do wear a pair of root socks, which is um, wintry socks. Like it's not those thin socks. It's a bit like it does have a bit of thickness. And I do make these laces tight. Uh, I do walk with them hours, no problem. But the first time I did, I did wear them, obviously it was hurting around here, but now I'm perfectly happy with them. I'm going to go on a trip next week to Toronto and I'm going to wear these uh, super comfortable, but I don't think you can wear these uh, without protection for your ankle because they are going to be super comfortable. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks for uh, choosing to watch this video. Like always, if you like it, please subscribe to my channel. And after this video, it's going to be uh, the worst and best ones about ready to wear collection. Thank you so much and have a great day.